If you've been playing Subnautica, you know all about the Seamoth. It's our little submersible that could. It gets us around in the early parts of the game and gives us an easy way to move around without having to wait on jumping with the prawn suit or the limitations of oxygen when you're using the sea glide. And while I've already featured other mods that basically add a certain enhancement to the sea moth that is already available in the game, say such as adding the prawn suit arms to the sea moth, Today's mod is doing something a little different. So today's mod feature is the Seamoth Enhancement System, and it comes to us from creator Mimes. So this mod does something different. It is not adding the prawn suit arms to the Seamoth. We already have a mod for that. We already have mods for adding better depth, better speed. This mod takes it from a different standpoint. Instead of adding some special enhancement, it kind of turns the Seamoth into a more technologically advanced vehicle. So this mod has four parts that we need to worry about. You start by getting into your Moonpool and going to the Vehicle Upgrade Console. There you will see a new section called Vehicle Piloting Enhancements. Under here you will find three modules, the Electrical, the Electronic, and the Mechanical modules. Each of these adds certain features to your Seamoth. You will also most importantly need the Seamoth Link, which is an enhancement for your suit, much like the Scanner Room Heads Up Display chip. Now, once you get into the water, you will see that your Heads Up Display is much more involved. We now have a nicer, better detailed setup for your health and power, and we have some extra icons along the top. Now there are multiple keybinds associated with this mod. So one easy way to do it is to pause the game and look at the shortcut binds already listed down below. But you can also go into options, go to mods and look for the Seamoth enhancement system where you can see all the different prompts, have all the options to change them as well as percentages and the way the colors change for those. So first let's look at your health and power options. Using H for health and J for power, you can adjust how it displays your power and health, whether it's a percentage, max number of units or current health units, power units, you can change them using the H and J keys. So on the top row of the new heads up display, the first icon on the left is a headlights icon. This is fully yellowish orange if they're on and it has an empty light if they're off. But there is another mode, pressing the L button turns on your high beams. Now these will give a large area, but they are much more focused. You have this shorter one, kind of like the lower beams on the front of a vehicle to help see through fog and such. And then your high beams that cover a much greater distance. Going to the far right side of the new section of the heads up display, you'll see we have a speedometer and a gear icon. There's also a number above the large gear indicating what current gear you're using. Think of it like shifting gears in a manual transmission. Using the F key to go up a gear and the V key to go down a gear, you can adjust your top speed while you're driving. There are actually two modes for this. There is a green mode and a turbo mode. Using the T button, which in my case opens up my inventory, will trigger a change from green mode to turbo mode and vice versa. You will see this from the third icon in the new heads up display system. If you see the green leaf, you are in green mode, which means you can only go up to gear number five. By pressing T and exiting out of your inventory, you'll see that you now have a red arrow on this icon instead. That indicates you are in turbo mode and you now can go up to the sixth gear. Another nice aspect of this mod is we now have cruise control. By hitting the Y button, you'll see that the speedometer gets a small red arrow turned on and we see a top speed of 2.5 above the speedometer, meaning that our speed is 2.5 kilometers per hour in gear one. By going up in gears, we can see how much our speed is increasing. And again, we are moving at cruise control. I don't have to hold down the W button anymore. But don't worry, if you get in panic mode because a Reaper's coming right at you, you don't have to worry about remembering to hit Y to turn it off. 
you can actually now hit anything regarding Y, the W key for forward, the S key for backwards. Any of those will immediately cut cruise control off. Now, as nice as cruise control sounds, it is important to note this doesn't mean you can just open up your inventory and start working because when you do this, you'll stop moving forward. But as soon as you exit your inventory, cruise control will kick back on. You'll start moving. And so, yeah, if you just want to do this as a way to not have to pay attention to the screen and hope you don't run into something, then you can do that. Or maybe you want to kick it into first gear and take a nice slow cruise through a lovely biome for just a relaxing view or because you simply want to take a quick trip to get a hamburger. Now talking about speed and of course green mode versus turbo mode, you might be wondering about power. One other aspect of this new mod is that you can actually swap your power cell out from inside the vehicle. So you don't have to get out if you run out of power to swap your power cell around. So I'm sure at this point, some of you are thinking, man, these look really good, but I don't want to use up three spots of upgrades because I don't have all the spots you have, Mr. Spicy. Well, that's okay because you do have two options here. You can always get a mod like I have to add more upgrade spots to your Seamoth, meaning more upgrades beyond just what you get from this mod, or you can take the three modules that you have just installed Head over to your modification station, go to the Seamoth upgrades, and under there you will see a new one for Seamoth Enhancement System, which uses all three of these modules and combines them into a single mod. That means if you do not want to have to put a separate mod on to add more spaces, you can now put all three of these in to a single upgrade and have all the same advantages. The only reason you might not want to do this is if you have only certain features you want to turn on so you don't really need the whole set of features. Maybe you don't like having to go up and down in gear to adjust your speed. Maybe you're planning to just keep your gear speed set the same all the time so you don't want to use that mod. You don't have to, just don't build that specific upgrade. So once again, this is the Seamoth Enhancement System coming to us from Creator Mimes. I will have it linked below if you want to check it out for yourself. And if you end up finding the mod useful, make sure you give a thumbs up endorsement on Nexus Mods for Mimes to help them out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the mod. So that's it for this monthly mod showcase. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can keep up with all my Subnautica content. And thanks for watching.